In this lesson, we will discuss Skype for Business pool server load balancing options. After you decide to implement load balancing, there are two methods available to load balance the network traffic, hardware load balancing and DNS load balancing with hardware load balancing. First, let's discuss hardware load balancing. Hardware load balancing requires separate load balancing devices that receive client traffic on dedicated virtual IP addresses, or VIPs. These load balancing devices distribute client connections to servers in the pool that they are load balancing. In previous versions of Skype for Business Server 2015, hardware load balancing was the only available method that network administrators could use. However, load balancing HTTPS traffic is different from the task of load balancing SIP traffic. The SIP client holds transactions of a longer duration because it registers with a server in the front end server pool and retains the connection over an extended time period. Handling such long term transactions can be difficult for some hardware load balancing implementations. Link Server 2010 introduced DNS load balancing to meet the need for load balancing SIP traffic, and this continues in Skype for Business Server 2015. DNS load balancing for SIP facilitates the deployment of hardware load balancers, which are required for all HTTPS traffic in Skype for Business Server. Now let's discuss DNS load balancing. DNS load balancing works by having two DNS A records registered for each member of a server pool. One DNS A record relates to the server's own FQDN, and the other record relates to the front end server pool's FQDN. When a client queries for the DNS service SRV record to connect, the DNS server responds with all IP addresses that are registered with the front end server pool FQDN. The front end server pools, edge server pools, director pools, and standalone mediation server pools support DNS load balancing. Next, let's discuss planning for load balancing infrastructure components. A challenge that network administrators face while using DNS load balancing is managing components within the Skype for Business Server 2015 infrastructure. Besides the previous versions of Office Communication Server clients, the Skype for Business Server 2015 deployment might be connected to several other components which may not support DNS load balancing. You need to consider scenarios where these systems connect to a Skype for Business Server 2015 front end server pool. If all servers in the Skype for Business Server 2015 pool are operational, these systems will function without any issues. During the planning process, you should identify the components that do not support DNS load balancing and plan the mitigation strategies. For example, some hardware devices might have firmware updates that enable support for DNS load balancing. In some scenarios, you may have to migrate from the earlier versions of servers and clients. However, you need to closely match this inability with organizational requirements or any service level agreements that specify the need for high availability, which might have an impact on the affected services. In such scenarios, you might need to use hardware load balancing during the transition period to ensure that load balancing and resiliency work as required to support users. Lastly, it's important to plan for coexistence. During the planning phase, you must recognize that organizations that use the infrastructure and hardware load balancers with the previous versions of Link Server need to be accommodated in the Skype for Business Server 2015 deployment. These hardware load balancers can simultaneously handle load balancing for several server pools. Therefore, if SLAs allow, administrators can use the existing hardware load balancers in a migration or coexistence scenario where an existing hardware load balancer may handle load balancing for both Office Communication Server 2007 R2 servers and Skype for Business Server 2015 servers. In a migration scenario, clients running an earlier version of Skype for Business will often be upgraded within a relatively short time frame. While planning for coexistence, you need to be aware that server draining, which allows you to drain all active connections from a server, is only possible in DNS load balancing. 
In this situation, the hardware load balancer will continue to direct clients to a server targeted for draining. Whether you decide to upgrade Office Communication Server 2007 R2 or to deploy hardware load balancing to accommodate SIP traffic, ensure that the selected solution is aligned with the long-term goals of the Skype for Business Server deployment and the long-term needs of the organization. 